All right, and we're following suit. We're starting to hear, see our own snow here in Utah. Yes, let's head over for the latest in this storm system, Alana. That is our snow. It's headed our way. We've got that westerly flow in place. We're starting tonight in Cache Valley, live view from Logan, where it's soggy. We've watched a few lingering showers hold on in Logan. It's rain in the valley. We had some wintry mix starting to show up, but it's snow up towards the canyon. We are going to see snow filling in with our next storm system. This was the front tracking towards southeastern Utah that came through this morning, bringing the wet weather and that westerly flow. This high pressure is brief. It's just a short area that we've seen this afternoon and evening of fairly dry conditions. But here comes the moisture. We're dragging that into the Beehive State. And that next front is going to pack a punch. This is what it looked like, a big Cottonwood Canyon. Great video coming out of Brighton this morning. Thank you, Andy, for sharing it. They picked up accumulating snow in both of the Cottonwood Canyons, and more is on the way. Actually, the Wasatch Mountain mountains will be underneath a winter storm warning in just a matter of hours. 30s and 40s for those temperatures right now. We are slightly cooler than where we were yesterday. Keep in mind throughout the week we've hit the 50s. It's December. Well, Mother Nature, we don't need to be that warm. We'll see 30s and 40s as we get through the rest of tonight. 30s and 40s on the eastern side of the state at 61 in St. George. The unseasonable warm starts to get chipped away because with our next front we welcome in colder air. We're 13 degrees cooler than where we were at this point yesterday. So that just goes to show in Provo. And as we look at those other numbers along the Wasatch Front, that the cold front that came through this morning, it did its job. Knocked us down a few degrees, and we get another on its heels, a one-two punch when it comes to the temps. Live view from Snow Basin, where they have their storm total there on the right, and you're able to see just a few inches from the moisture that moved through this morning. We're going to add more to this. Winter storm warning, as I mentioned, for the Wasatch Mountains in pink. This goes into effect at 11 p.m., so just following ABC4 News at 10, and we know that accumulating snow is on the way. What you're seeing in purple is a winter weather advisory for the western Uintas, the Wasatch Plateau, the Central Mountains, and the Wasatch Back. Heads up, those areas are going to see tricky wintry travel as we get through the close of our work week. This goes into effect just after midnight, so 2 a.m., what you're seeing in purple, and they both hold on until late tomorrow night. So Friday is bringing mountain and valley snow, forewarning you that your commutes could be a little impacted. Futurecast takes us through what to expect. Here we are this evening, and we're watching as that westerly flow brings in the next round of moisture just after midnight. Cold air will be in place. The cold front comes through, opens the door for a more northwesterly flow, so cold air comes flooding in, and we see that snow hold steady. For the overnight, as far south as I-70, down towards the I-15 and I-70 interchange. Notice how the snow holds on, 6 a.m., morning commuters along the Wasatch Front. You could see some light snow and some tricky travel with cold temperatures and some spots with icy conditions. Northwesterly flow actually goes over the lake, and that means the showers will persist throughout our afternoon and into the evening for our Friday along the Wasatch Front. So we will see periods of precipitation with this storm system before it totally clears, which we really start to see in the early morning hours of Saturday. Saturday will be dry. But let me tell you, folks, it's going to be cold. We're bringing in that change in temperatures and we'll be closer to average. Snow potential favors the Wasatch Mountains, which is why that winter storm warning goes into effect. Here's a look at those expected totals. 8 to 16 inches in the Cottonwoods. But I'm telling you that probably the upper Cottonwoods could get closer to 2 feet. Mountains at 5 to 10. Mountain valleys, Wasatch back, 4 to 8. And that's why you're falling into that winter weather advisory category. 3 to 7 inches on the benches, 1 to 4 for Wasatch front back. Valleys. Again, this is starting for the overnight and will impact your Friday. We forewarned you. Travel impact showing road slush in yellow all the way down on I-15 and into the northeastern corner of the state. What you're seeing in red near Sardine Summit and the Cottonwoods, well, that's road snow. We expect that in the high country, and so you want to pack your chains. Regional forecast for tomorrow is chilly. No more 50s or 40s. No, we're going 30s with snow potential throughout the day. 30s and 40s on the eastern side of the state and 54 in St. George. How about we take a look? at the next seven in Washington County, shall we? We see those 50s turning to 40s. It's going to be dry, but it's going to be chilly, and that colder air filters throughout the entire state. Happy Hanukkah to those celebrating. As we look at the Wasatch Front, the snow moves in. For tomorrow, it starts tonight and impacts us for our Friday. Cold air is left behind. Now we get a really unsettled pattern where we get weak waves coming through into early next week. So we won't be locked and loaded as we make it through the weekend. Heads up there. But it looks like tomorrow, it's the two of the one-two punch from the system we saw this morning. So coming out swinging. Boom. One-two. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alana. Mm -hmm.